Today I'm sharing three super fast and easy high protein breakfast ideas. Each of these recipes has 30 grams of complete protein in order to help support a body recomposition and weight loss goal. Let's dive into it. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition human performance. And the first breakfast idea is one and a quarter cup of cottage cheese with one tablespoon of almond butter and an apple. Now, depending on the brand of cottage cheese that you use, you might need a little bit more, but usually around one and a quarter cup of cottage cheese will get you to 30 grams of complete protein. Big thing to watch out for are those single serve cups. I know you've seen them at the grocery store. They say like single serving, they have a little peel back top, but usually these are only about three quarter cup and and therefore only have about like 14 to 15 grams of protein in there. Instead, when buying cottage cheese, you wanna make sure that you're getting those larger containers so that you can actually scoop out the amount you need in order to hit those 30 grams. Now, I love using cottage cheese because it doesn't require any cooking. So it's literally like one of the fastest meals that you can make. And to make this a complete and satiating meal, I like to combine it with almond butter and apple, and then of course put a little bit of cinnamon on top too. So good. The almond butter helps to provide some satiating fats to go along with the high quality protein in the cottage cheese. So when you combine both the protein and fat helps keep you satisfied and prevent hunger and sugar cravings. But depending on your needs, you might need a little bit more almond butter. So you could use like one to two tablespoons and topping it with an apple provides a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of crunch to make it a complete meal. And apples are a little bit higher in sugar compared to some other fruits. But the important thing to look at is the glycemic load. The overall glycemic load of a medium apple is actually pretty low. So it means that the impact of the sugars within the apple are not going to greatly spike your blood sugar or at least for a lot of people, especially because you're combining the apple with proteins and fats from the cottage cheese and the almond butter, which just further helps to slow down the sugars from the apple. Now, if you are very carb sensitive, then you might want to cut this down to about a half apple or swap it out entirely with lower sugar fruits like raspberries. Okay, the second really fast and easy high protein meal is a chocolatey Greek yogurt parfait. Now, this is another really fast and easy option that can literally be made in seconds. And again, I love this because it doesn't require any cooking. Now, you can use either Greek yogurt or skier, or if you're plant-based, you can use a plant-based Greek yogurt. Common brand that has a plant-based Greek yogurt would be Kite Hill. Skier is similar to Greek yogurt, but it tends to be a little bit higher in protein for the volume. So lately I've been leaning more into having skier versus Greek yogurt, but you can use any of those three just as long as you're using enough to actually hit 30 grams of protein. Now one cup of skier or Greek yogurt usually has about 20 grams of complete protein and an amazing hack to bring that up to 30 grams while actually adding in a ton of flavor without having any added sugar is stirring in a scoop of my zero sugar chocolate protein powder. My husband Trevor did this the other day. He added in a scoop of my zero sugar chocolate protein powder into his Greek yogurt bowl. It stirred in really well and it gave the yogurt more of like a chocolatey yogurt parfait vibe and brought it up to 30 grams of complete protein, which if you guys haven't checked out my zero sugar protein powder, I'll have it linked down description below. Each bag also comes with a free download of 10 delicious and high protein meals that you can test out. Though I'll have my zero sugar protein powder linked down description below. But then to make this yogurt parfait a complete meal, you can add on about a half to a full cup of a low sugar fruit like blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, or you could use my frozen blueberry hack where you just heat up frozen blueberries and it makes it a little bit jammy, so good. And then to add some high quality satiating fats as well as some crunch, you could put on about two to four tablespoons of your favorite nuts or seeds. Trevor did his with a combination of pumpkin seeds and cashews and it looked amazing. <laughs> okay, the third is eggs and toast. Now this does require cooking, but eggs are usually just really really fast and easy to cook. They take like a few minutes to cook up, but eggs on their own aren't really high in protein. Just for an example, if you're to try and hit 30 grams of protein from just eggs, you would need to eat about five to six eggs in one sitting. So instead, what I like to do is pair three eggs cooked however you like. It could be fried, it could be scrambled, it could be hard boiled, and pair it with a high protein healthy toast alternative. Specifically, the ones I like to use are cauliflower thins from the brand Outer Isle. Not sponsored at all, I just really like this brand. The cauliflower thins are made from cauliflower, eggs, and Parmesan, and one serving has 10 grams of complete protein. And you can just pop these in the toaster, pair them with your eggs, and then just add a pinch of shredded cheese on top to get that extra couple grams of protein in order to hit the full 30 grams of complete protein. And from there, I personally love to add hot sauce and salsa, so good. Now, if you're looking for some easy high protein meals that you can have at dinner, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.